Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. For those that are having issues importing your flight plan into the Flybywire A320, either SimBrief or through Microsoft Flight Sim, well, we're going to go through all the steps coming up on today's episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. Welcome back everyone. Before we get started in today's video, if you're unsure of how to import a flight plan in the Microsoft Flight Simulator, I will go ahead and post a link down below in the description. Check out that video there. If you're unsure of how to create your SimBrief flight plan, I'll also post a link down there as well. If you have any questions along the way, please post those down below in the comments section and I'll get right back to you. If the video helps you out, be sure to hit that subscribe, tick that little bell, and smash on that thumbs up button. First, we're gonna go over how to import your Microsoft Flight Simulator flight plan, and then we're gonna go over what settings you need to do to import your Simbri flight plan into the FMC. So let's get started in today's video, and everything today is gonna to take place right over here in the EFB. So the first thing that we need to do is to go right down here to the lower left-hand corner of the EFB to your settings tab. Then we're gonna go up to Sim Options, when you open this up, the first thing we want to do is make sure that Sync Microsoft Flight Sim Flight Plan is set to Load Only. If yours is set to None, then it will not import your Microsoft Flight Simulator Flight Plan. That's pretty much all you need to do to make sure that the FMC is going to import your flight plan from Microsoft Flight Sim. So now that we have gone over how to import your Microsoft Flight Sim Flight Plan, let's go over what settings need to be adjusted so that we can import our Simbri flight plan into the FMC. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do here is to select none for Sync Microsoft Flight Sim flight plan. That's because we're gonna import this directly from Simbrief. The next thing we need to do is to go back in the settings tab, and then we're gonna go down to the ATSU menu. From here, we're gonna go all the way down to the Simbrief username pilot ID. Here's where we're gonna enter your pilot ID or your username from Simbrief. Once that's done, we can then go down to the FMC itself. Once we're at the FMC, if you tap on the ATSU, then we go over to the AOC menu, init press. Here's where we can request the initialization data. Once that's done, we can go back. You can also come down to the weight and balance. You can also send off for the request for that. That will also pull all of the info from Simbrief. We can then go to the initialization page here and then click on the init request here. This will then pull all the information from SimBrief as well and load our flight plan into the FMC. I'm not gonna go over a full tutorial on how to set up the FMC. This is strictly on just importing the flight plan. All right, that's gonna wrap us up for today. If the video helped you out, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe, tick that little bell and smash that thumbs up button. Thanks everybody for joining us on the channel. And to all my flight server friends around the world, keep the blue side up. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.